Oh, hey, everyone. So I was just looking on Facebook, as you do, and I noticed that Mike Bloomberg, the billionaire former New York City mayor who jumped into the 2020 pres presidential race late and spent over 500 million on an unorthodox campaign, has pulled out. Honestly, this is good news in a way, because it would be terrible if any old billionaire can just simply pay enough money and can you know win the presidency it helps trump but i also think trump's sort of celebrity and you know the fact that a lot of people actually liked him really helped trump to win so it's kind of good for you know anyone with um a bunch of money just can't run on the other hand it kind of leaves bernie sanders and joe biden and you know possibly others but those seem to be the main people running right now so his bid has ended for the democratic nomination but he vowed to stay in the fight in an attempt to defeat President Donald Trump in November. He said, After yesterday's result, which was Super Tuesday yesterday, the delegate math has become virtually impossible and a viable path to the nomination no longer exists, Bloomberg said in a statement. But I remain clear-eyed about my overriding objective, victory in November. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I will not walk away from the most important political fight of my life. Bloomberg said defeating the president means uniting behind the most viable Democratic candidate, which he deemed to be former Vice President Joe Biden. The problem with Joe Biden is he seems like a nice guy. I think he is. A while ago, there was some stuff about creepy Uncle Joe and the fact that he's very, very touchy-feely, especially with kids and women and stuff. But to be honest, I think that's more of a sort of I don't know, older grandpa sort of, um, you know, just um, lo he loves touching people and, you know, just being close to people. And that's a bit dodgy in a sort of me to age. Honestly, I am quite concerned because he seems to not be fully with it, I guess. I mean, I've been watching a bit of Fox News because YouTube is a complete joke, right? And every single time I watch a YouTube video, it's followed by a Fox News video because the American YouTube fiddling has kind of made it so that Fox News streams constantly for me, which is unbelievably annoying because I don't want to watch Tucker Carlson and Mike Hannity or, or whatever his name is all day. But anyway, going back to the story, I know I've known Joe for a very long time, Biden said. I know his decency, his honesty, and his commitment to the issues that are so important to our country, including gun safety, healthcare, climate change, and good jobs. Well, honestly, I mean, I think most people are sort of, no one's for bad jobs. I mean, even Donald Trump isn't for bad jobs. But yeah, anyway, I've had the chance to work with Joe on these issues over the years, and Joe has fought for working people his whole life, he continued. Today, I'm glad to endorse him, and I will work to make him the next president of the United States. I, I guess because I've been watching a lot of Tucker Carlson, not by choice, by the way, YouTube just kind of foisted it upon me, I kind of agree with some of what um, Tucker Carlson says, and he kind of said that the people surrounding Joe Biden don't really have his best interests at heart, because maybe he's not up to being president, and, I mean, obviously, I know Fox News are, they're obviously on the Republican side, so, you know, they're going to sort of trash talk for Democrats. I was going to show you guys a compilation video that they put together of Joe Biden. Bloomberg, who sat on the first four nominating contests in the Democratic primary, had banked heavily on success on Super Tuesday and afterwards, pouring almost half a billion dollars as of late February, of his personal fortune into ad spending. Again, I think he pretty much tried to buy the election, you know. He looked at Donald Trump and he thought, hey, look, if Donald Trump can be president, then I can be president. But Bloomberg, a former Republican, an independent who pitched himself as a moderate Democrat, who could beat Trump, was not able to earn those votes effectively following the resurgence of fellow moderate Biden. Now, I kind of agree here. If he was the only sort of moderate candidate, then he might have stood a better chance. I don't know, why is Joe Biden even running? He seems really kind of confused. Bloomberg also suffered from several mishaps during his campaign, appeared to significantly mute any chance he had of building momentum, which included underwhelming debate performances in which he was recipient of blistering attacks. So actually, he was really attacked on his uh, stop and frisk policy. He, he kind of didn't defend himself very well. I mean, personally, I'm kind of pro stop and frisk. We call it stop and search in the UK because it actually seems to get results. You know, in the UK, it seemed to reduce the number of people being stabbed. And, you know, that's got to be a good thing. But I also understand 
but some people might consider it racist if they're targeting certain ethnicities. But anyway, let's watch Tucker Carlson's kind of attack here. And here we go. Mr. Joe Biden. Look, tomorrow's Superstar Tuesday, and I want to thank you all. I tell you what, I'm rushing ahead, aren't I? 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. Just that one, right? That's half the population of um, America. I mean, I kind of feel bad because I guess he's relying off memory and he might just mess up his statistics. But still, I I don't know. I think being the president of the most powerful country in the world, and America still is the most powerful and influential country in the world, you know, you, you really need someone who's as sharp as a razor there. And I, I don't know if Joe Biden really is sharp as a razor these days, as, um, you know, we can, can kind of see here. It would put 720 million back million women back in the workforce nobody should be in jail for a non-violent crime my name's joe biden i'm a democratic candidate for the united states senate what's not to like about vermont in terms of the beauty of it and what a neat town play the radio make sure the television the, excuse me make sure you have the record player on at night poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids we choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Think about it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Yep, that's the man. You know the it's thing. Super Thursday, and he's running for the United States Senate in memory of the nearly half the country that's murdered by guns in the last few years, <laughs> guided by the belief that other children are as bright and talented as white kids, not to mention clean and articulate. And in the hope that he can put three quarters of a billion women back to work, whether they want to go or not. If oh, that's the dear. kind of transformational candidate you're looking for, Joe Biden is your man. Or, or if you're looking for someone to get you a second serving of Jello from the 430 Early Bird Buffet, Biden can do that too. What I think ha will happen is basically the popular vote will really go to Bernie Sanders, I think. So most people will really want Bernie to you know, read the Democratic Party, but I think they're going to give it to Joe Biden, so they'll sort of gerrymander it however however they do it, so that um, Joe Biden is the candidate, and then Joe Biden will go up against Trump, and believe me, you know, whether you love Trump or hate Trump, he'll wipe the floor with Joe Biden, I think, so it'll be um, another four years of Donald Trump, which, you know, it's kind of fine, I mean, there's no candidate he'll really stand up for climate change, Democrats might be better than Donald Trump, but then again, I think... I think Donald Trump's going to try to plant a trillion trees and that, that might be just more of his, you know, party and whatnot. They are doing some stuff on that. But anyway, I thought I'd let you guys know we can say goodbye to Mike Bloomberg. It's kind of good that people just can't buy the presidency. So they just can't put half a billion in and become president automatically. They actually have to, you know, be popular, I guess. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and like and subscribe etc and see you soon guys